Today, we find ourselves in Roanoke, Virginia, taking a look at one of their two malls. Since the 1980s, the Valley View Mall has been the dominant regional mall in the area, shaking up a second mall in the area and killing off a third. Let's have a look at how it's getting on. Before the cometh of the mall, Valley View Mall's land was originally a farm plot owned by the Huff family, a rare oddity as it existed within city limits of Roanoke, which was already a prominent small city off of Interstate 81. The story of how the mall came to be started as simple with an airplane flight coming in. As they were landing, Henry Faison noticed this farm and realized its location off of Interstate 581 or Route 220. He'd acquire the land and begin development on the shopping mall. During rezoning, however, local activists and the owners of Tanglewood Mall attempted to block the rezoning efforts. Ultimately, these efforts were for naught, and construction began in August of 1983. In July of 1985, the mall would open officially with Sears, J.C. Penney, Leggett, Miller and Rhodes, and Talheimers. While Tanglewood Mall was terrified of the new competition, the two malls actually managed to coexist for a time, while the Crossroads Mall nearby was thrown to the wayside and reduced to just a memory. At the time, malls were so busy that people flocked in and out to the mall leading to significant traffic jams in the area that I-81 and 581 still suffer from to this day, albeit for different reasons now. Despite this, the Valley View area has become the major retail center for southwestern Virginia and even established its own roadway to alleviate traffic. Two thousand one would see the mall sell to CBL and Associates, who would maintain ownership of this mall as of the making of this video. And during this time, we would see a number of changes from the nineties to the two thousands. Leggett would turn over to Belk, whom would continue operations today, at least as of the making of this video. Miller and Rhodes would turn over to Montgomery Ward, which would unfortunately close along with the rest of the chain. Today, that space is subdivided into additional mall space with a Macy's home store operating in part of it. In fact, the way we came in was through the old Miller and Rhodes. Meanwhile, Talheimers would turn over to Hecht's, whom would then turn over to Macy's, who still operates as of the making of this video. I'm trying to future-proof, so bear with me. In recent times, the district at Valley View would be constructed. While being a lifestyle center at its roots, it would be built close by J.C. Penney and would be accessible from the mall itself, making this mall into a sort of hybrid indoor-outdoor mall. This outdoor center would come to feature Barnes & Noble, The Sleep Number Store, Walkabout Outfitter, Panera Bread, and Carabas, just to name a few places. This would be a great move to keep the mall viable without having to destroy the interior, which a lot of companies want to do. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, though. The Gap shut its doors in January 2015, having been regarded as a prominent store for the mall. And 
If you don't know already, you probably just saw it. Sears shut its doors for the last time in October 2019. At this point, it's inevitable. This empty Sears leaves a rather big gap to fill in for the mall owners. But seeing as they've been able to utilize another dead anchor in a unique way, I am at least hopeful that they can figure something out for the derelict Sears. Time will tell at this point. When I was looking for more interesting malls to hit back in 2017 and 2018, for some reason, this mall in Roanoke I always passed over. I thought it was just a bland piece of junk that, although alive and well, was going to make me feel like a horrible person for existing. A mall that I would have to kill myself before I could go inside. I didn't like the open ceiling and saw most of it as unfinished and lazy, and the single color scheme of off-white made me think this was going to be bleached to hell and back. The short short version of this was that I wanted to hate this mall. But then, I finally came around in summer 2021, and I wound up actually liking this mall. While I'm still not fond of the mall's open ceiling, I can actually find the mall interior somewhat elegant and even respectable. The mall isn't oppressively bland, and you still have some interesting plant features here and there. The food court even hosts some decorative street lamps, which always makes things a little better. And if you pay close attention to the courts, there are some mirrors up by the ceiling that give off this larger-than-life impression. I may have came in a hater, but I came out with some respect for the mall. And in time, I might even come to love it. Another thing I'd like to mention, in my memories, while I never went to this mall, I distinctly remember seeing it on the side of 581 when traveling to West Virginia with the family. At that time, I was just a dumb kid and hadn't yet realized malls were everywhere and that super regional malls like these were the norm. But at the same time, while it did briefly get my attention, I didn't think about it all that much. I was more so wondering when I'd be able to drive and go my own way on the road, and when I'd be able to play Halo. Things sure haven't changed now that I think about it. This is just about it for the Valley View Mall. I wanted to hate it, but I came to enjoy the mall in the end. What about you though? Did you like the mall? Did you hate it? Did you want to hate it, but ended up liking it? Do share your thoughts on this place. Tell me in the comments below. And, while we'll never get to see the Crossroads Mall ever again, I do have a revisit in the pipe for Tanglewood Mall in the future. Subscribe if you want to see that. If enough of you clamor for it, I'll bump it up in the schedule and we could see it in a month or two. Thanks for having me, Roanoke, Virginia. And until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Valley View Mall farewell and good luck in this dark timeline.
It's a beautiful day up here in Virginia. How are you guys doing? <laughs>